All right, guys, so the process we use to do our rhodium plating, I'm going to show you that now. So I've taken the rings out of the ultrasonic, I gave them a check over to make sure the polish was good, uh, scrubbed down as well. And the hook that I'm using here is platinum. So platinum is actually a really good conductor of electricity and it lasts a long time. So uh, if you look up at the voltage I've got on the box there, so I've got it set to 8. So I'm going to use it uh, 8 volts um, for the cleaning salt. So I'll do that first. So I'm going to turn it on. Now, when you dip these pieces into your rhodium plating, if you hit the anode at the back of the piece, uh, you're going to have a bad time. It's going to burn the piece. The electricity will run straight through the current and not through the liquid. And that's going to burn your piece. And also, when you get to actually doing your rhodium plating, it will uh, leave patchy marks, and that's the last thing you want. So. While we're in any of these solutions uh, running electricity through it, you've got to keep them moving. So if you go up and around, some people jiggle them, whatever you've got to do, but you've kind of got to keep it moving on that hook. Because if you stay put, again, you might get burn marks in the inside of the ring, and then you've got to strip the rhodium back off and do it again. So to get around that, just keep it moving. So from there, we go into the water here. Now this isn't standard tap water. This is demineralized water. So you don't want any minerals or chemicals, anything of the sort on the piece before you do it. Now what I'll do now is I'll turn the uh, rectifier down. So I run my rhodium on four volts. So moving from there and you've got the piece clean, you've got all of the bubbles and everything off it. So moving forward from there, we go into the rhodium. So you repeat the same process in the rhodium. Making sure you keep them moving around. Now for a good rhodium plating, I think, uh, I think the recommended time is about 45 seconds for it to be in the solution. Uh, depending on what type of solution you're using, what ampage your rectifier is at, and also what voltage you're running through your rectifier for your rhodium plating, uh, it's going to have an outcome of how your plating turns out. So the uh, the eight and four that we use on this is uh, it's a good setup. It works for the setup we've got here. So. They're looking quite good now. So a little bit longer. And that's it, they're done. So I'll turn the machine off. Got the pieces up on the hook now. Nice crisp white color. Uh, with a bit of luck, there's no patches on there, but I'll have to check that afterwards. Now, another thing I was told years ago, um, don't touch the pieces when they come out. So take them off in the hook, just dip them back in the sonic. Uh, the acid that they use for the rhodium plating, um, you can leave marks after it's fresh and that's not what you want to do. So uh, going straight from here now back into the sonic, I'll give them a brush off with some uh, fresh water, uh, check the polish, check the insides of the rings to make sure that there's no marks and uh, they go through to quality control now to see if the, uh, the finished product, the high polish, the rhodium plating, everything's all up to scratch. But I hope that gives you some kind of an understanding of how rhodium plating works. It's uh, quite a quick process, but most of the work goes in before the rhodium plating is actually done uh, in the emery work and the polish. So, all right, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.